Joel Embiid is most definitely going to win the 2020 MVP. I've made multiple videos on this, and today I don't want to talk just about that. I want to talk about the fact that he can really lead this team to the NBA Finals, without a doubt. And I think it's because this team, similar to how the Lakers were built, that people said they don't have enough depth, but when you really look at them, this team does have enough depth. They're a team that, when we saw in games where they were depleted because of protocol, that they had players out, that they were still able to compete against the upper echelon of the NBA and still able to win those games. And that's what you need to be able to do because, you know, having players who are able to step up when they are called upon is the most important thing. And the 76ers are showing that. And I'm a person who I'll admit, I talked a lot of smart smack about Doc Rivers in the beginning of the year saying that, yes, he isn't a great X and O's coach, which I still do believe that. But one thing is he's a great play, uh, a manager of players and personalities. And he is best at creating systems that employ team basketball that allow everyone to play within a team and usually a lot it's if you saw when the boston teams everyone had no one was like an elite 20 point score everyone was like high teens in the big three and here you see that outside of Embiid, the scoring is pretty spread around and you could say the same thing was with the clippers the score with the cp3 blake and deandre days the scoring was always a spread around everyone gets their share of the minutes and that's something that's made the 76ers successful and the 76ers are one of the best teams on defense on offense in the same way how Embiid has been two-way dominant the 76ers roster is two-way dominant in the way they play basketball and that's that's how you win games that's how you win championships and the 76ers i think also bring to the table the ability to consistently match up to any like lineup they can either play small or they can play big so when you're playing a team against the warriors you, they can keep up obviously the warriors aren't the same thing so like a better example would be in this case a smaller team who's been playing good i'm like blanking on this right now i mean the warriors are playing really small but just in general when you're playing a small ball lineup they're able to do that because they can put joel in there they can put to tobias danny green seth curry and they could put shake milton or they can leave Ben Simmons at the point guard position, which they've been able to thrive doing doing that. And obviously people have complained that Ben Simmons has taken a dip this year, which obviously I think is more because, you know, I, I can't really go into depth about why Ben Simmons hasn't been playing as go, good as basketball because I don't really know that because I don't, I feel like I don't watch enough 76ers basketball to have a true opinion on that. So if you are a 76ers fan, I want to hear right now down below, what do you think is the reason Ben Simmons has had a down year this year? Obviously, he doesn't shoot the three point ball in a league that is evolving ever more to being pretty much a three point dominant league where we're having big men consistently coming out of the draft already being three point shooters. And that being a key trait that you want your big man to have and all your players to be able to shoot the three-point ball either way we're gonna uh, i want to hear why you gotta why you believe that but seth curry tyrese maxi being uh, honestly i thought Payne pritchard was going to be this year's tyler hero but it's really tyrese maxi is the guy who's been playing big minutes sort of like tyree tyler here <laughs> i almost said combine the name tyler hero was for the heat last year and i could see tyrese mix maxi being a big time player for them in the playoffs and when you go down, this team is also built to last. I've said Paul Reed is one of the most underrated players coming out of this year's draft, and he is also the best defender coming out of this year's draft. So when this roster goes from top to bottom, Joel Embiid, Tobias Harris, Shake Milton, Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Tyrese Maxey, Danny Green, Dwight Howard, Mike Scott. I mean, Mike Scott hasn't really played much game, but you also got Isaiah Joe, Dakota Mathias, Furkan Korkmaz. Matthias Theibel, who Matthias Theibel, he's a really good defender, but he's kind of been disappointing because his offense isn't progressing. They can really match up to anybody. I feel like they have the pieces that if someone gets hurt, they can, the next guy up will play. They've been playing good when they've been called upon and they're 18 and seven and it's really interesting. So that's the video guys. I really want to hear your opinions down below. What do you think of the Philadelphia 76ers? Obviously Joel Embiid is going to win the MVP and I think that's just a fact. But besides that, I want to hear in your opinions, who do you think deserves the MVP besides Joel Embiid? But besides that, 
do you think the 76ers can make it out of the East to play the Lakers in the NBA Finals? So that's it from me, guys, today. I hope you guys do have a great day because I know I will. Till next, guys. Peace out.